Good afternoon. Okay, so today I am going to discuss, um, huh, so a lot of people ask me, do you use tarot cards? Um, I've made a video before. Um, it's probably from a year ago, so I figured I'd make a new one. Um, so I am a born psychic medium. I don't use tarot cards. I don't use anything for my readings. I just sit with you, look at you, listen to your guides. Um, whatever they have to say, I share with you. Um, they'll tell me whether you're on the wrong path, the right path, your relationship, um, you know, everything. Your health, they will bring up whatever needs to be said. They'll always talk about what you need to know. And um, if you have questions, you can ask any questions you want. Um, I don't um, judge, again, I don't care what people do, um, whether they worship other deities, whether they use Ouija boards, whether they use uh, bones uh, for their readings, tea, I mean, to each their own, that's great. Um, for me, it's a little uncomfortable when I pull out tarot cards and spirits looking at me like, I just told you that. So it's kind of weird. Um, it makes me uncomfortable and it just makes me feel like I'm disrespecting them in such a way. Um, so I don't use them. I think it's great that people know how. In fact, I know one person in particular who is phenomenal at using them, but he doesn't actually need them. He's a very psychic, intuitive person. Um, and, uh, you know, he's in New Orleans and he knows who he is. Um, uh, Sen, you're amazing. Um, but I feel like other people are just jumping the span wagon, studying the book of tarot cards and reading them and, and using them to read other people. Now, my problem, and this involves holistic fairs, um, I stopped going because of the energy that surrounds these fairs. Um, there's a lot of negative energy. Um, people don't bless their stuff. They don't pray over them. They don't cleanse them after each person. So that energy builds up. Um, I try to explain to people, just as we evolve as humans, so does spirit. Um, they grow just like us. They're a lot smarter than we are. Um, they um, used to use the Ouija board to come in and um, possess homes and cause chaos and you know possess a kid, all kinds of craziness, especially if you're playing with things by yourself with heavy emotional baggage or loss. Um, those are open invitations. Now, as I said, as we evolve, so do they. So I do a lot of home cleansings and I have to collect these uh, tarot decks from kids, teenagers, because it's all over social media that tarot is fun, you'll get your answers, blah, 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 whatever they're promoting, who cares? I don't really care. But the problem is, is these kids will play with these cards and um, <clears throat> they'll do it when they're um, depressed, uh, angry, um, suicidal, and that invites demonic negative energy. So what happens is they invite this entity into the home and then things start happening. And then I have to come and cleanse the home and remove that demonic force, poltergeist, entity, demon, whatever they brought in. Um, so I don't care what you do, but if you are going to do it, here's what you should do. So here's your tarot deck, grab some sage, sage your deck after every use, pray over your deck. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you can do the Trinity three times. You can spray holy water on your deck. And when you're done, you know, put it back in its box um, very carefully, um, however you do it. I don't know, I'm doing this backwards, but whatever. Um, so here's your deck. What you wanna do is find a, a box, you know, not necessarily this one, this one's my own for other stuff, but um, put the cards in here. You can put a crucifix, you know, over your cards so they're safe when they're not in use. Um, here's a St. Jude card. Um, so even sage leaves would be great. Put your deck of cards in there so it's safe. You can wrap them with a cloth as well. Um, so it's your way of keeping it safe. If you're already doing it, great job. You are doing good.